Hack. All right, we're going to talk about our Glock 17 MOS. So the the MOS models are the ones that could mount a red dot sight. Instead of your conventional iron sights, well, you still have your conventional iron sights, but yeah, so you could mount a red dot. Okay, this is a Glock 17 Gen 5 MOS USA. So there's a variant uh, that is also an Austrian version. So this one I have, uh, which is a USA version. Okay, so let's check clear first before we talk about our pistol so we're clear so i have three magazines here so yeah so i got this pistol from seven guns you could check out their uh shop you could inquire them about their pistol uh and their other models are uh, available in their shop so yeah so i got this from seven guns gun store here in the philippines so as I recall, I think I got it for somewhere around fifty three thousand. So fifty three thousand uh, license uh, is not included there. You could never go wrong with the Glock. Uh, what I like about the Glock is its ergonomics. It's very easy to you know control, and I also like the trigger, stock trigger let's check clear okay check clear so i like how the trigger responds so you had that something soft and squishy then you hit the wall and it engages so let's see how it resets like so very nice gun and what i like about it is uh, for me, I have huge hands, so the Glock 17, it's perfect. I tried a Glock 19 already, uh, I borrowed my friend's Glock 19, uh, although it's uh, way concealable than the Glock 17, but you know, I have big hands and it fits perfectly in my hand, like so, so like what I said, it's for me ergonomically uh i like it better then yeah so compared to a double stack 1911 uh the grip doesn't feel awkward uh you have the capacity like uh for example the stock ones would be around 18 or 19 rounds <laughs> and this one i had the better mag extension I think this is at least 20 rounds. So you could bring more rounds with you. But keep uh, bear in mind in the Philippines, you are only allowed to carry uh, 50 rounds. Uh, 50 rounds uh, legally because it states in your PTC so, or your permit to carry that... Uh, each individual is only allowed to carry 50 rounds. Originally, I'm a 45 guy, so I have uh, a I'm a huge fan of 1911s. But due to the way that uh, engagements are happening in the modern era, so you would love that uh, technological advancement uh, in your weapon. So. Uh, you had the option of mounting a red dot. For example, mine, I had the Vector Optics Frenzy. So you could mount other optics out there, like a Trijicon or a Holosun or even a SIG. So the next thing is, uh, it's very important that you have your weapon light incorporated in your pistol. So for mine, I have a X300 Surefire. So... You could uh, go to dark places and identify any threats or hostile uh, uh, hostile environment, and you could basically 
you know, move around and be aware of your surroundings. What I like about also the Glock 17, uh, Gen 5 MOS particularly, so it's ambidextrous, so I could shoot uh, both hands left or right, so I could train uh, my dominant hand and non-dominant hand easy. So you have the slide release here on the left and right, like so. So one thing I like also with the Glock 17 Gen 5 compared to the Gen 3, this is this is just an airsoft uh, Glock 17, but you know, uh, basically the grip is slicker and I like the, this one more. So the Glock 17 Gen 5 resembles the first uh, version of the Glock. Or first gen of the Glock so this is much slicker so you don't have the finger grooves and the grip feels uh, you know more secured so it feels comfier the reason why I have a Glock 17 airsoft gen 3 because yeah you could train uh, you could train uh, without real steel this is a best uh, alternative for real steel so the movements the function it's the only disadvantage in the gentry it's not ambidextrous like so yeah that's our gas blowback uh, Glock 17 all right so I would like to show you my uh, range belt or tactical belt whatever you call it so this is my setup for my war belts so i have my glock 17 here in my safari land holster in multicam belt and multicam then i run two pistol mags then i also have my ar magazines over here so just in case so but sometimes i try to just uh, practice with the ar uh with the pistol mags because with the AR mags, they're just quite heavy for range day. So when I'm just running pistols, uh, I have like two magazines here. Then I keep one extra just in case I'm just doing drills. It's easier to, you know, just put one mag in the pouch here. And yeah, shout out to, yeah, I know this is I do gear. But it works, it works. So then I have my... For Milsim, my grenade pouch, my IFAC, and a dump pouch. Then, yeah, this is my setup. And this is my EDC and at the same time my range gun. So, if you like this video, hit like. And I invite you guys to sh uh, subscribe and also share the video. So we could grow. Uh, your help is very much appreciated. We would like to bring you more content in the next few months and weeks, you know. And yeah. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.